So I just want to give you guys a little update what I've done in the last little while here. I uh, <clears throat> came across a couple more solar panels and if you see my other videos you'll notice that uh, I put a little extension on the shed here. It used to just cut off after that window but I put a little addition on to put some more stuff in and there we go. We've got uh, three more panels up there helping us out. Those ones there are 295 watt, I believe they're 72 cell panels. Um, anyhow, uh, there's about another 900 watts up there and that catches the afternoon sun which is uh, actually pretty helpful. Um, still got the three sharps up there, the 230 watt sharps, and they work pretty good for most of the day. And uh, these ones here are not adjustable, they're just kind of at about 45 degree angle for now. And uh, the sharps, as you guys have seen in my other video, they're kind of on that car jack which I can move around a bit which makes a difference. So these ones here are picking up the afternoon sun. It's about, it's about noon so they're just starting to kick in a little bit. It's not a super super sunny day, it's just kind of a hazy day. But uh, they're definitely going to help. And uh, you can see I've just used 2x4s pressure treated. I was going to use metal but to keep the cost down I just went with uh, pressure treated 2x4s. I figure you can put a fence up it'll last for years. These should be okay for a while. Um, I don't know if you can make that out or not, but just to get the angle, I've used uh, I've used hinges underneath to uh, create the angle and keep it bolted. So that's going to work pretty good. I've got to trim off the ends of the wood there and make everything pretty yet, but it's uh, it's getting there. So these. Uh, two panels here, the two 65 watt ones are uh, are fixed in this angle so they help in the afternoon as well. That one's not tracking the sun. It does manually if I decide to move it I can turn it wherever I want but I basically just leave them there for the most part and uh, they're going into a small 300 watt grid tie. Um, I don't have enough <coughs> excuse me grid tie inverters to hook all of these up all at the same time and uh, which is too much anyways. All I do basically is just grid tie one of those panels. I believe the one in the center is on grid tie and the other two are just charging the battery bank. And then the two sharps are grid tie full time and one of them is charging the battery bank. And this one here, like I said, is on a 300 watt grid tie. So that is enough power to back feed into the house on a good sunny day. It's uh, winter time now, we're in December, so we're not getting a ton of power. But uh, basically, I don't want to—I don't want to donate my hydro to the utility company, so I make use of half the panels and the other half backfeed the house. You have to excuse the mess. I haven't been working out here in a while. Right now, the total for everything is 254 going into the house, 249. So not too bad. That's okay. My house idling with everything off takes about 170 watts. I figured out so. On a sunny day, this will creep up to about 600, which is more than enough to cover most things. You can see this one here, 27 watts, because it is kind of a crappy day, is the uh, 265 watt panels on the post there that you saw. This one in the center um, is actually two of the sharp panels facing, uh, facing south. And then this one here will start waking up. It's only got one panel on it. So that 600 watt has one panel, one 295 watt panel. I had two of them on, but this thing was getting so hot you could barely touch it. And then this one here, this 600, which seems to be a little better quality, has uh, two 230 watts, so 460 on that one. And then this one's only got 295. On a good sunny day, they do pretty good. Um, right now I'm running the uh, pure sine wave inverter in the house, and I have a small 200 watt space heater, <clears throat> excuse me, that... Uh, it's just running in the living room to help help warm up the living room a little bit. Sorry the camera won't focus. It kind of sucks. Anyways, the batteries are at 12.9. We're getting about 12 and a half amps. So right now the uh, if you look under here, the power inverter is running and that's uh, wired into the house and keeping everything going. The uh, small 300 watt one I have to uh, move over to the board yet. <clears throat> When I get some time, I'll uh, 
start to get things tidied up a bit. You can see there we're getting about, well, only one amp from the two 65 watt panels. Lights are kind of moving, slowly. We only get about 25, 27 watts out of that one. The sun kind of creeps in and out. There we go. Anyways, just an update. Maybe when we get uh, an actual sunny day, I'll come out here and show you what the system can do. Talk to you later.